guys. Welcome to my first proper video where I'm actually talking to you guys, talking to the camera. I've never really been the type of person to enjoy these kind of things, being behind a camera, talking to a camera, but I'm just going to get out of the comfort zone a bit and hopefully in future videos I'll be a bit more comfortable doing this sort of thing, try and incorporate it more into the videos. I only really started seeing growth in my legs probably about a year into the gym, just slightly I guess, because I don't think I ever trained legs properly until the second year of training. That's when I started watching more gym related TikToks and YouTube videos. I, I recommend watching all that stuff because it really can broaden your mindset or tighten it up, you know. I think tomorrow night I'm going to take you guys to a leg day. So yeah, we'll see you there. things I usually take before a workout. For today's session we're gonna take one scoop three peat, one scoop blackberry lemonade and then I'll add one scoop creatine and one scoop of L-citrulline in there and then I usually just add a scoop of the this Gatorade powder into my water bottle get a few extra electrolytes during the workout. I'm just sit in the car for about five minutes before going into the gym. Use it as a way of like, like dialing in, getting in the right mindset, headspace. Some people say you can't push past other. I like to disagree. I'm not gonna be a fucking pussy. I'm gonna do some shit. I don't think I can do. Let's get into it. You just can't go there on gym day and go, okay, I'm here, I showed up, I'm gonna do a few of these and a few of those, and take your pre-workout thing and then all that stuff. You have to do a lot more than just show up. Thinking that you're doing it, you're not doing it. Turn around and go home, if that's the case. Do something else, take up another sport. Something that's not so hard.
Well that was much harder than I thought that leg day would go, considering I only did four exercises. Doesn't really matter about the exercise choice or being optimal. I see too many people just focusing on being optimal. What other people do, people don't have that, that level of intensity, they're not aware of it. They think they're doing enough, but they're telling themselves they're doing enough and then that's, in a way, enough for them to be satisfied. Instead of just training how... But overall it really doesn't matter what exercises or how many, I mean yeah I guess sets, but it doesn't really matter as long as you bring the intensity. One of the reasons why I just switch gyms is because there's too many people that just go to the gym to socialise and like in some situations you end up having conversations that last like over 10 minutes and it just takes you out of the, the headspace, the mindset, you lose all the intensity of your training. It's, it's like the atmosphere, the environment is motivating, saying like all these bigger dudes than you, like way bigger than me. <laughs> if you want to be the best you can in the gym, Go, go by yourself or go with one other person who's going to push you. If you have that one person that, that's like got the same goals, the same mindset as you, it's going to be really beneficial to like your growth in the gym. Will, Will was meant to be here, but he doesn't have a membership yet. Will's just that, that one dude who's just bigger than everyone I know, stronger than everyone I know, so I'm just going to be in a constant chase after him. Hopefully he joins this gym soon. I'll have someone to record instead of me having to set it up each set or whatever. I don't, I, yeah, talking to a camera has been really awkward, but hopefully get better over time. I'm in an empty car park right now. There's no one around. All by myself in this car park, talking to myself. Not something I am, I can say I'm used to, but yeah. <laughs> someone just walked past it. But yeah, overall, my one tip of advice would just be really go into the gym with a purpose, bring the intensity, just go all out and then you can rest after. There's no point just going half heart in the gym, it's really just not going to be enough, especially on legs. Yeah, it's the days where you don't feel like it, that you got to go and just get it done. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.